What's up, guys? My name's Hugh Miller, and yesterday, uh, March 6th, 2024, Her Interactive dropped a brand new video. And I feel like I haven't done one of these, like, dissection videos in so long, and it's really exciting for me to be able to hop back in and do it again. Uh, we've got a new video. Let's take a look at it, and then we're going to just tear it apart as much as we can and give it a good little discussion. So here we go. All right, so this video is rather interesting. So it's uh, it's a very simple video, very short, and it shows off the the game like desktop icon that you'd see. Uh, you double click it, open the game, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, the first thing we see here is once we fade in is a shot of the cafe. The cafe has one person in it back there, and otherwise it's pretty empty. Uh, this is a laptop that we have seen in previous screenshots, just kind of chilling out uh, on the on the desk here. And still, I, I still think the game looks really good. I still think it looks way better than Midnight in Salem did. And that's, yeah, it's, again, it's not perfect, but it's a massive step in the right direction uh, compared to what Mid was doing. Um, we're going to take a look at what's over in the top left corner uh, in just a little bit. We're going to focus on what's going on down here uh, initially. And so we get a kind of a flying shot towards the camera, uh, towards the computer here, and it stops right here. So I'm not sure if this is going to be an actual function or be zoom in on it. And then we got to use the computer and it cuts to this or not. No idea. Either way, it does look like we'll be able to get to use this computer interface as a whole based on the fact that everything except the little folder here, everything else appears in this other shot as well. So we've got the little start button, which has a new image for the Krollmeister logo, which is really cool. Uh, kind of like Windows 10 and Windows 11. There's the type here to search bar. Uh, this is just the general file explorer, the internet, email, sound, Wi-Fi, and battery power. And I took a look at the keyboard here. There's nothing really of interest. The only thing that I found interesting was uh, the fact that there is... <laughs> uh, these keys are supposed to have the period and comma, but they don't. They just have the the brackets, or whatever these are called. I don't know what they're actually called. The ones you can make the, the hearts with. Um, and instead of a Windows key or an Apple logo, there is a gear icon. So they're just kind of probably trying to get rid of uh, copyright issues because they had a an iMac in, Win uh, in Midnight in Salem and didn't exactly hide it as well as they probably could have. Anyways, we see the interface here. Uh, this is a better shot of how things are looking. The background clearly is a reference to Windows XP's uh, Bliss wallpaper, which was uh, one of the most, I think it was like a part of a $200 million campaign from Microsoft. You know, you'll know it, you know it. Um, and as we go on, the I, I'm gonna assume the default mouse cursor shows up in the bottom right, and um, they just have this going as a little animatic, and so we click on the folder, and this is the Nancy Drew Games folder. And so we have a little, we've got a whole series of all the games here, almost all the games. We are missing Ransom of the Seven Ships and the Dossiers, uh, and we've got Secrets and Kill replaced with the original, or with the remaster, and so this, uh, this video is meant to uh, announce the new desktop icon for the game, which I actually think looks really good, and it features a very interesting looking key, which we'll get a good look at in just a second here. Um, and so anyways, they uh, click on it, and it says, Nancy Drew Mystery of the Seven Keys Downloading. And a lot of people are pointing out that the progress bar is very close to the end. So my guess uh, is just as good as anyone else's that this is, you know, everyone's assuming that this means that um, this is how close we are to the release, in which case it should be just a couple months away, theoretically, if this is any, you know, signifier of anything. But the fact that they're announcing this, and they, they did this with Sea of Darkness, and I think with Midnight in Salem too, where they announced what the game icon was going to look like. Now, as of right now, I can't actually remember how far in advance of the release they did that, um, and so I might just go and 
check up on that real quick. All right, as it happens, they announced the, um, this is really interesting actually. So yesterday was March 6th, uh, 2024, and the C desktop icon was announced on March 10th, 2015, which was about, I think about two and a half months before the game came out. So, if we're following by that logic, which again, let's best not to do that because it's, uh, you know, everything is kind of unsteady. If we're following that by that logic, Mystery of the Seven Keys would technically come out in May. But again, that I would not take that uh, for granted, or uh, for, not for granted, for um, certain at all. Like, don't even use that. Don't even quote me on that. Um, this is just a little observation I made based on uh, this old little amateur sleuth blog post right here. So let's get back to the video. All right, here we are again. So we're zooming in on... Uh, on the actual icon itself and it's got this very interesting little like flourish around it which looks really nice with a red background and then the key itself it's a very interesting key it's a very 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 interesting key and we'll take a closer look at it because this image right here is a bit blurry uh, as you see but it's a very interesting key and there we go so this this key has some funky little details in it and you know it's my guess is that it could possibly have some connection to a digital interface or it could just be looking really cool like that to unlock some really neat lock or it might have nothing to do with the game at all and it might just be a key they designed just for the icon i honestly have no idea either way that is the icon for nancy drew mystery of the seven keys and um it's kind of neat. I like it. I dig it. I think it looks really cool. What do you guys think about it? Uh, before we finish off this video, we're going to dive into uh, the stuff in the top left here. And I've got another folder open for that. So we'll just, we'll, we'll hop over there. You'll never know what happened. All right. So clearly it's, it's rather blurry. And I think, you know, there's nothing we can really do to improve that. Um, and it looks like it's just an information board with possibly historical elements of uh, Prague based on the fact that this is a cafe and there's a whole bunch of books, like a little library or something. Um, this looks like a kind of street and so does this one as well. This one could be a nature shot. I'm curious who this person is and how they would tie into the environment and the game itself. And you get a bit of a better shot of the person back here as they're just kind of chilling out back there. But that's as much as we can really see. Uh, in this area, so that's about it. Just want to cover that really, qu really quickly before we uh, wrap up the video. All right, y'all, that's about it for this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments. What are your thoughts on the interface here that we see on the laptop? Uh, just the game icon itself, um, possibly what the progress bar might mean. Let me know all your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. And that's about it. We'll see you in the next one, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.